Assalamu alaikum. Um, today I'm going to start reading Surah Swad and it's Surah number um, 38. So let's get started. Um, this Surah is perceived as a continuation of the previous Surah since uh, it mentions uh, some of the Prophets that are not mentioned there such as David or Dawud alayhi salam, Suleiman, Suleiman uh, Job or Hazrat Ayyub alayhi salam. Again, the pagans are condemned for denying the oneness of Allah, rejecting the Prophet as a magician, a total liar, and for claiming that the world um, was created without a purpose. References are made to the creation of Adam and the enmity of Satan has for him and his descendants and the punishment awaiting the misleaders and their followers. Uh, uh, contrasted with the bliss in store for the righteous, in the verses 49 to 54 and the end of the surah emphasizes on the universality of the quran whereas the beginning of it of the next speaks with the divine nature um arab deniers so i'm going to do ayah number 1 to 26 today swad by the quran full of reminders this is the truth yet the disbelievers are entrenched in arrogance and opposition Imagine how many people were destroyed before them and they cried when it was too late to escape. Now the pagans are astonished uh, that a warner has come to them from among themselves. And the disbelievers say, this is a magician, a total liar. Has he reduced all the gods to only one god? Indeed, this is something totally astonishing. Chief deniers. The chiefs among them went forth saying, carry on and stand firm in devotion to your gods. Suddenly, this is just a scheme of, for power. We have never heard of this in the previous faith. This is nothing but fabrication. Has the reminder been revealed only to him out of all of us? In fact, they are only in doubt of my revealed reminder. In fact, they do so because they have not yet tasted my punishment. Or is it because they possess the treasures of mercy of your Lord, the Almighty, the giver of all bounties? Or is it because the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and everything in between belongs to them? Let them then climb their way to heaven if their claim is true. Warning, uh, warning to the deniers. This is just another uh, enemy force bound for defeat out there. Before them, the people of Noah denied the truth, as did Ad and Pharaoh, the mighty uh, of the mighty structures. The Mood, the people of Luth, and the residents of the forest. That uh, I think these are the people of Madian. These were all enemy forces. Each rejected their messenger, so my punishment was justified. These pagans are awaiting nothing but a single blast that cannot be stopped. They say mockingly. Our Lord, hasten for us our share of punishment before the day of reckoning. Prophet David or Dawud Be patient, O Prophet, with what they say. And remember our servant David, the man of strength. Indeed, he constantly turned to Allah. SubhanAllah. He constantly turned to Allah. This, just, this is so much lesson for us in this. He constantly turned to Allah for everything. We truly subjected the mountains to him, our praises along with him in the evening and in after sunrise. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah lazim. And we subjected the birds flocking together, all turned to him, echoing in his hymns. We strengthened his kinship and gave him wisdom and sound judgment. David and the Disputing Partners Has the story of the two plaintiffs who uh, who's called uh, the Wall of David's Sanctuary reached to you, O Prophet? When they came to David's presence, he was startled by them. They said, Have no fear. We are merely two in dispute. One of us has wronged the other. So judge between us with truth and do not go beyond it and guide us to the right way. This is my brother. Um, he has 99 sheep while I have only one. Still, he asked me to give it to him, overwhelming uh, me with his argument. David uh, eventually ruled. He, ha uh, he has definitely wronged you in demanding to add your sheep to his. And certainly by uh, many partners wrong each other except those who believe and do good. But how few are they? Then David realized that we had tested him, tested him. So he asked for his Lord's forgiveness, fell down in prostration and turned to him in repentance. So we forgave that for him and he will indeed uh, have a status of closeness to us and an honorable destination. With, uh, we instructed him, O oh David, we have surely made you and uh, um, made you an authority in the land. So judge between people with with truth.
with truth and do not follow your desires or they will lead you to astray from Allah's way. Surely those who go astray from Allah's way will suffer the severe punishment for neglecting the day of reckoning. Inshallah, we'll continue from here tomorrow. Till then, fi amanullah.